Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving if your display driver has stopped responding and has recovered error on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, type in Device Manager, Best Match should come back with Device Manager here. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to expand the Display Adapter section, so go ahead and double click on that. And then whatever Display Adapter is listed under here, you want to go right click on it and then select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then locate the one that's most applicable for you. So likely it will be an AMD or an NVIDIA driver perhaps or Intel graphics too. And you want to go select that. I'm in a virtual environment here so I'm just going to select the one that's most applicable to me here and then select next. And once that is done just select close close out of here, restart your computer and see if you are still coming across that error message. And if you are still having a problem, another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu again, type in regedit, so R-E-G, E-D-I-T, best match to come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup so if anything went wrong, you could easily recover it. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab, select Export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to All and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, just with Select File and then Import. So pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So you want to expand the HQ local machine folder. So either double click on that or left click on the arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. So double click on that. Same thing for control. And now there should be a graphics drivers folder in here. So just go ahead and left click on that. If you need to pause the video and take note of the path that we've gone under at the top of the screen here, you're welcome to. And each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under. And now that we are here, you want to go on the right side in a blank area, select New, select DWORD 32-bit value, type in TDR Delay. The T in TDR and the D in delay should be capitalized. Everything else should be lowercase and one word here. So again, TDR delay. We'll have it up in bigger letters on the screen of the video as well. Hit enter on your keyboard. Once you have that in here, you want to go double click on it. And you want to set the value data to the number 8. So delete the 0. Type the number 8, don't spell out 8, just type the number 8 and then left click on OK. And once that is done, you should be able to just go ahead and close out of the registry editor at this time. And that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.